Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Conrad and this is Climbing as a Support. Ah! Okay, we got it, we got it. Ranked is actually going uh, pretty well right now. Uh, over the weekend I played a few games off of stream and I entered a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, and I went back to gold 4. But yesterday on stream, I had a really, really good run and I actually went 9-2 in my games. So now I'm back in gold 3 again at 74 LP. I have found a lot of comfort right now in playing either Lulu or Janna. So depending on the team comps that we have, I will pick either one of these two champs. So for example, if my team is trying to dive the enemy team a lot, I will pick the Lulu. And if the enemy team is trying to dive my team a lot, then I am picking the Janna as I feel like she has a little bit more peel. And more specifically, the thing that I'm really looking at is if my ulti as a Janna will be useful on more than one person in my team comp without me actually having to be out of position. Lulu is actually my by far best champion in the game. I have like around 500k points on her, which is like five times more than any other champion that I have. And I can play her into any matchup whatsoever. And especially if I'm first pick, I will always pick the Lulu because it's just such a conf pick for me. And the thing is, like, in the beginning of the season, I tried her, but I felt like it wasn't really working. She was feeling a little bit weak for some reason. I don't know if it was just me not being that good at the game yet, because I had a long break. But now recently, when I picked her up again, I feel like she is pretty damn good. My tips for Lulu right now is to run Guardian as your keystone of choice, as it improves your laning phase by a lot. And it's really, really useful versus all of these wannabe mid laners that are playing support right now. And when it comes to items for Lulu and any other enchanter that I run, I like to rush Ardent Sensor and then build the Redemption. So these two items right here are my core build for any enchanter support right now. When I look at builds right now, I can see that most people are rushing Athens on enchanters, but I don't even use Athens in my builds anymore. I just value the Ardent so much as a first item, because the ADCs in the bot lane are struggling a lot right now. And giving them a look that extra ardent buff helps me carry them through their mid game and i feel like they're actually useful anyways with all that said you know the drill guys like comment subscribe hit the bell all that gucci shit and yeah let's head into the game of the week where i'm playing with three adcs are you serious are we gonna play with this this is insane we can't possibly play like this this is actually really dumb <laughs> Like, I literally no idea how this game is gonna go, but at least my uh, my Ardent will be useful on everybody. <laughs> like, I guess I'm gonna go for Ardent Sensor and then uh, uh, Redemption, so that way I will be able to proc my Ardent Sensor on my whole team. It's gonna be awesome since after this is that's the that's the secret plan here. Is it gonna work? No freaking clue whatsoever. Could literally go whatever way. Really though. Oh, did I save him? Maybe. I have to flash him myself. It's not gonna hit me, right? Okay, well, they're not here anymore. Perfect. Woof, the Guardian too good. Guardian saved the uh, Twitch's life there. Wait, I can't see which one is the... Oh, okay. In my head it was the Kai'Sa and the Ari, because the skins were so similar. I was like, wait, I can't see which one is which. I was like, oh yeah, because it's a Nico actually. Push the stun here. Thank you, Guardian. Yeah, I'd rather take that poke than give her the knight the gold. <laughs> Screen her off a little bit of the farm here. Oh, they're both barely- oh, nice one. I really thought they were both barely, barely gonna survive with like 100 HP. Ah! 
Okay, we got it, we got it. God damn it, I didn't see her. Ah, uh, wait, she survived? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, okay. This one is, this is the Nico. <laughs> what? Okay, oh, I'm bang. My god, what was the poke though? Whoops. Mm, I shouldn't have it in that stun like that. It's bad. I agree did too much for the poke. Yeah, I have to use that. I think I can switch that. Ah, I think I can switch the Twitch. Maybe we could have turned that a little bit better if the Twitch uh, was able to stay alive for a little bit longer. Oh, she, she got edited. That's a lot of damage. Shivana is also so dumb as a champ, it's actually insane. Actually, I actually have two uh, pots here. I pop my pots. I have ulti for another minute though. Fuck. Perfect. Ulti was able to knock her off uh, for long enough time for her ulti to not hit me. No, not too bad at that hit. Nice one. How the hell did that hit me? Ah! I knew I had to dodge that shit. <laughs> what am I eating? On misfortune. That's actually quite nice, like in this team comp actually, is the fact that even if one ADC dies I can kind of just go and buff the other one and deal for them, so I always have somebody to help and I always feel quite useful. Okay, so the idea here is to give Ardent to all of my ADCs by proccing the redemption on all of them. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm proccing Ardent, I can be proccing Ardent on the full team by uh, with my font of life. If I hit slow on like all of them, then my Ardent will proc on the rest.
<laughs> like, yeah, what are they gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Wow, I can't believe we won this game. That's so insane somehow. Like, I feel like theoretically this shouldn't work. <laughs> in theory. But uh, in the end of the this is gold dealer. Uh, what are you gonna do? Team comes don't matter. <laughs> Team comes literally don't matter in this elo. Oh my god. That was actually so stupid. Yeah,